Hello! In the previous lectures, we were able to learn how to recreate functionality of user form by applying provided code blocks. In this lecture, we will see in detail on how does our template works and how exactly it is facilitating data collection, analysis and reporting. We will also discuss very briefly some limitations on the proposed method and I recommend you to watch this lecture just to capture some of the methods used for your particular projects. Let's open up the macro-enabled workbook and simulate situation of data gathering into the user form uh, and basic analysis, decision and reporting. I will review one particular checkpoint about the wheel damage. Here I have already noticed a small damage and made a picture of it. I will actually start filling a checklist and state that this check has filed. I can also here write why, but I can also do this later inside of the user form. All I need to do is just double click on the row of the checklist and then the user form will pop up with all relevant information that were already inside of the checklist fields. To make me further be concentrated on my subject, I will also bring the image into the user form. And in this stage, I can see and further decide what I should do as I'm now having all information in one place. In this example, I will decide to write that the repair is needed and estimated cost to be 300. After completing the information in the boxes, it's actually now easy in intuitively select needed actions. For example, I can select write to report checkbox and all relevant information will be sent from the user form to the destinations as soon as I press the button update record. As you see, the completely new row is now generated in the report page of the file. We can also have the original checklist record updated. Let me quickly summarize the key benefits of proposed method. First, I don't need to worry about missing information and as I can see all the fields that needs to be filled up. The data transfer is made easy even if we are adding pictures and it's being sent to the destinations. Overall, we see that the user form help us to concentrate information in one place and the ability to easier make it analysis and further decisions. We know that common buttons in the user form can have intuitive names. It's easy to understand what they should do. A part of that basic functionality we just see, we can explore more features and we will do that in the course later. But for the moment we already know that even with this simple automation and features, this is already great improvement to the current process. Of course, let me be very transparent with you and specify some points that may require further discussion. Great, now we know how our template works. We are now ready to the next lecture, so let's see in detail how this given functionality works, starting from piece of code that invoking and closing user form.